Okay, so today in chemistry, this kid Roman was walking across the room to get something and he tripped and this girl immediately shouts, THE EMPIRE HAS FALLEN! And I cried. Why was Hitler hit with a baseball? Because he was a fragile little racist, sexist, and homophobic nationalist douchebag? Well, yes, but no, because he did not see it coming. Eh? How did Nucleus escape from prison? <laughs> Through the cell wall. Get out! What do you do with a sick chemist? First you try and heal him, then try and cure him, but if that doesn't work, you bury him. Whoever put the S in the word lisp should be shunned! Fact! The person who put three T's in stutter is going to get their butt kicked. What about the spelling of dyslexia? <sighs> oh my god. You semi kinda upset. Are you okay? I'm okay, thanks for asking. Is this how fan fiction couples talk to each other? If we put Chris Hemsworth, Chris Pratt, Chris Pine, and Chris Evans into a room together, what would happen? A crisis. Leave! What do you call cool cheese? Mozzarella. Unbelievable. Only one note? It's like you don't have a shred of appreciation for good puns like these. You guys need to be more grateful! So Oxygen went on a date with potassium today. It went okay. I thought Oxygen was dating Magnesium! OMG! Actually, Oxygen first asked Nitrogen out, but Nitrogen was all like, N-O. I thought Oxygen had that double bond with the Hydrogen Twins. Looks like somebody's an H-O! Nah, bruh. I'm done with all of you! Hey guys, look. It's a Shakespeare. That was the worst pun ever. <laughs> but I'm laughing! Does anyone else think this game is overrated? Yeah. It's not for everyone. But up up but up up Hey! It's my jab. It is time to cleanse your mind with shower thoughts. If the Mayans taught us anything, it's that if you don't finish something, it's not the end of the world. If we do receive an alien message, our best bet to play it back will still be the VLC player. If people could see their own health bar, they would probably try to be a lot more healthy. Someone named Guy Chapman is essentially named man three times over. Baker is short for bread maker. The vast majority of shower thoughts aren't actually fabricated in the shower. If we stay here, they'll find us. Can be both relieving and terrifying to hear. Social anxiety has caused many beautiful relationships not to happen. 12 a.m. starts before 11 a.m. You have too much free time is an insult even though it's the one thing everyone universally strives for. And taxes are basically the subscription fee for citizenship. And this has been Shower Thoughts. You ever thought about how the number 1423-221 describes itself? It is 1423s, 32s, and 21s. <sighs> it's too early in the day to be thinking about numbers. Hey, hey, guess what? Ice cubes are 10 glaciers. Have a good day slash night. Ah, uh, blue flame. Why? Why you gotta do this to me? Can you please explain fa to all those people whose only knowledge of fa is what's on your channel? All right, here we go. It's Fire Emblem Heroes, a mobile game where you can have a lot of fun as long as you have a lot of money. Build your team of baras, squishy girls, fan service, and small children. While you play across all the boards with a simple game of rock, paper, scissors, but also go through nostalgia lane. Oh wait, hey, I remember playing this game. What the frick Fire Emblem Heroes is that? Why is it so dark? And it's pretty easy to spot the players who have spent a lot of money on this game. Usually those guys are the Four Surter Army. The entire army consists of thighs. The creepy army that's just all children. Plus 10 legendaries. All the trash tier characters that have been completely maxed out in all stats. And finally, Four Camillas. Have you ever thought about how Mothman was once Caterpillar Boy? Oh my god! A dog is just a Cerberus with one head, thank you, bye! Uh, that, that, go to bed! You should drink some water. Oh, you're right, thank you for reminding me. Can you tell Christopher Escalante to stop liking my tweets because it's making me soft? Chris, keep liking their tweets. Hey, hey, I need a new anime to watch on Netflix. Got any suggestions? Agretsuko. Opinions on tea? No, uh, yes. I enjoy the exquisite taste of leaf water. I hate when you're being a fun and zesty texter and the other person is like a slice of damp bread. I can't carry this conversation alone! I have very little upper body strength! Do you young kids have a term when you are both of those things? I just found my seventh grade math teacher on a gay porn website. 
Oh my sweet Jesus. Why are you on a gay porn website? Oh, you know, for oatmeal recipes. Why the frank do you think? There are two types of anger. One is dry and the other wet. And basically, wet anger is when your eyes water and your voice shakes. And I hate that because I feel weak when I'm crying while angry. I like dry anger when your face is like stone and your voice is sharp. I guess wet anger shows that you care too much. And dry anger means you're done. This is the best description ever. There's this girl at my school and she's really nice. And I remember sometime last year at one point she would carry a clicker around and click it every time she had a happy thought. Something good happened, she laughed, etc. It was always kind of cute how she would just hear the little click every once in a while throughout class. It always made me smile knowing that it was because something made her feel happy. I don't know. She was training herself to be happy. Oh my God. Does it work? Imagine feeling yourself slipping into depression. You just click a few times and your brain says, wait, this is the sound of happiness. I have to release serotonin. She fantastically pavloved herself. The absolute madwoman. And writing that one down. I'm home alone with the TV repairman. I'm no fool. There's only two possible outcomes of this scenario. Porn or murder. Uh, apparently there was an unforeseen third outcome where he fixes the TV and then leaves. Okay. So you know how humans make animal noises like we can pretend to meow and bark and stuff? Like, how freaking weird would it be if animals could do that? Like, they didn't know what it meant or how to speak phrases, but they could pick up on stuff we say and make the same noise. Like, you'd just be watching TV with your dog next to you and reach over to pet him and... Bowel movement. Parrots. The thing you're looking for is a parrot. Do you ever have those times at 4 a.m. where you get so motivated and decide to get all your sanity together and then plan out your entire life and future and then the next morning you're just like, Whoa, what was I thinking? <laughs> I am a hot mess. I figured out that horror games with grotesque monsters and spooky environments are negative 9,000 scary if you pretend you're Steve Irwin on a mission to document the monster or monsters. Looky here, there's a six foot grunt from the basement. I'm gonna wrestle it. This is how I get through a lot of scary environments without getting scared. It, it really works. I feel bad for teachers because I distinctly remember my mom bursting into tears once when she was grading papers and she was just mumbling, they're so goddamn stupid, over and over and over. Every time I read this, I look harder. Well, imagine instead of fighting with weapons, we fought with cardboard. Imagine if there was a strict cardboard-only rule for war and everyone on Earth just accepted it without question. So whenever everyone went to war, they would just hit each other with cardboard swords and pretend to shoot each other with a cardboard gun cutout until they all got tucked out and went home. <laughs> I've been laughing at this for about eight years. I posted this five minutes ago. <laughs> I gotta tell you, one bonus of being an adult, trademark, is grossly misusing modern slang on purpose and watching the young interns cry inside. A fine example. The other day, I pointed at a passing shark and, while looking one intern right in the eye, went, Man, is that a bay or what, huh? And the look on his face was something I will treasure for years. Kids, I'm gonna level with you. We do this on purpose. Does that dab for you? I would be an awful parent. My kid would say, I don't want to go to school, I just want to sleep. And I'd probably get in bed with them and say, I feel you. <clears throat> Really? Really? Is that the... Is that the terms you want to use? Hey Billy, why weren't you at school today? My mom feels me. <laughs> hey guys, who's the funniest Disney princess? Rapunzel! Get off the stage! I told this joke to my husband and he immediately said, DIVORCE! Just. Once. I want the hero to go, your wife, sister, mother, whatever, would not have wanted this. And the villain to go, Actually, we talked about this a lot. She was really into vigilante justice and eye for an eye stuff. She always said, if something like this happens, avenge me. Your mother never would have wanted this. Well, you never clearly met my mother. Nyeh. Why do people call it fornicate, marry, kill, when they could call it bed, wed, behead? Easy there, Henry. Who's Henry? What the f- Urk. <laughs> Why are they so stupid? Beautiful Joe, Church's Chicken, Knockwurst, Frankincense, Sunny D, General Insurance, Go Directly to Jail, Green Marth, Red Marth, Little Marth, Arm Marth, Buff Marth, Better Marth, Princess Crom, A, Snake, Bazinga, 
Bokrom Horseman, Man-Eating Sword Hand, Yandere Simulator, Legs, Horse Legs, Candle Legs, Legendary Legs, Um, Blue Legs, Baby Legs, Don't Touch, Tom Hiddleston, Dire Dire Docks, I Hate You, Leneth, Ample Bosom Gothic Maiden, None For All, Douglas, Oh Ho, Oh Ho, Thor, Deep Inhale, What If Zelda Was A Girl, Punk, Okay, Oni-chan, colon three. Yes, Queen Slay! Ganondorf, Dark Souls Edition. Really? Red Eyes Blue Dragon. Shakugan no Shana. Run. Travis. There's Marth. This is fine. Bye. Yo, it's poppin'. I'm back at my ancestral home Lowe's, and I just watched a very burly man and a lot of flannel carry a potted orchid so tenderly across the parking lot. The sentence that starts with, I'm back at my ancestral home Lowe's, has to work really hard to make the end of that sentence equally as amazing. And by God, you've done it! Short tops are valid. Also cute. I think they're called crop tops, but I may be wrong. No one tell him. What if people got a new name every birthday? Like, what if the name represented how old you were? Like, 11-year-old was named Josh. I had my first kiss when I was Greg. This wasn't supposed to get notes! Tonight! British cops want to use AI to spot porn, but it keeps mistaking desert pics for nudes. London's Metropolitan Police believe its artificial intelligence software will be up to the task. This just seemed appropriate today. Oh, please, 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 let Tumblr flag this post. This post was flagged. Yeah, boy! Do you ever do that thing in class where you noticed you stopped paying attention, so you try to focus, but then you're focused so hard on trying to focus that you're still not paying attention to what they're saying? Oh my god, it's in words! Finally! Netflix is looking to pay someone to watch Netflix all day. <gasps> my time has come. Let me just take off my leather jacket to reveal a second secret leather jacket underneath. You mean skin? What an absolutely terrifying addition to my post. Thank you. Oh, boys will be boys. Oh, bam! Oh, yeah, my face! Boys will be held responsible for their actions like everyone else! <coughs> we will not. You will do so, or I will shove responsibility so far up your ass, you'll taste tax bills for weeks! Y y yes, sir. Now you get out there and respect all people, or so help me, you'll get a paddling! Oh, I'm going to bed. It's noon. Time isn't real. Me! Tumblr's new anti-porn algorithm seems to detect skin tones. That means skin is banned. You can only jack off the skeletons now. Wait for it, that's it! Unfortunately, Tumblr's security snuck up behind him and snapped his neck before he could warn us about- Oh God! Have you ever really thought about how when you look at the moon, it's the same moon Shakespeare, Marie Antoinette, Van Gogh, and Cleopatra looked at? Hold up! They all looked at the moon. They're all dead. The moon is killing people! Wake up, America! One time when I was seven, I went to this big department store and there were giant rugs hanging from the ceiling and you could move them to see more rugs. So I moved one and there was an employee sitting behind it eating a bag of Doritos. And I screamed and started crying and the store gave us a free rug. I got fired because of you. She guessed my favorite color first try. But between me and you, I didn't even have a favorite color until she yelled out yellow. She was hella excited and smiling like a little kid. So I told her she was right, and I haven't seen yellow the same since. It's in everything. I could probably live in it now. This is one of my favorite posts from this website. I just need a moment. Listen, if Snorlax can suddenly awaken and transform into something powerful and useful after 20 years of lying around doing frick all, then maybe there's hope for me yet. Someone just sent me a message saying there's an OK Cupid account catfishing with my selfies to find a sugar daddy, but. I had to tell him that was actually really me. Cooking show I desperately want. Professional chefs compete to wow and astound totally amateur food critics who don't know diddle about squat. Get eliminated on totally arbitrary grounds such as, I don't like sour cream. It's creme fraiche. Whatever it is, I don't like it. Take it away. <clears throat> Titty. Stop! You violated the law. Pay the court a fine or serve your sentence. Your stolen goods are now forfeit. <clears throat> Resist arrest. Then pay with your blood! I had three mineral posts flagged as adult content today. They contained or tourmaline, a muscovite, and a galena. On Friday, I had three fossil posts flagged as adult content, including a fossil fish, a fossil tooth with a mastodon, and a tyrannosaur vertebrae. I've submitted appeals for each. This has been getting worse over the past month. Apparently, most of geology content is now only for adults. Well... Apparently you can't get your rocks off on Tumblr anymore. I am contractually obligated to congratulate you on this reply.
There's a new book covering the Cambrian explosion, an era of life about 520 million years ago when changing environmental conditions spurred the rapid evolution of many bizarre life forms, some of which are distinctly related to animals today, some of which, like the five-eyed Opabinia, with its jaw ended, this reblog was flagged from my drafts. Dirty, dirty Opabinia. Opabinia has been extinct for 497 million slutty, slutty years. Date a boy who forgives you for your past. Date a boy who disregards your Cracker Barrel arson charge. Date a boy who is your accomplice in the Cracker Barrel arson. <gasps> it's back. I had three stitches in my ear today, and now my ear is swollen like a balloon. I'm not being racist, but if you don't want your ear to swell, you probably shouldn't have gotten stitches. How is that racist? They just said they weren't being racist. Do you even listen? Listen, I'm not gay, but I really think cats deserve a chance to be in the Olympics. This entire conversation is the exact reason why I quit drugs. Today, I learned plants make caffeine to defend themselves against pests. Caffeine is toxic to birds, dogs, cats, and it has pronounced adverse effects on mollusks, various insects, and spiders. Oh, safe at last. <laughs> Why are we like this? The fact that we can't drink seawater even though it's the most common type of water just because it's 3% salt, yet we can safely consume multiple forms of literal poison and even benefit from doing so just blows my freaking mind! Oh boy! I wonder what I said wrong this time. Guess. Diva. He lived. Hey, Talia. Bird up. Bird down. Generic. Crom's wife. Give her an alt now. Crom's wife again. Freddie Mercury. Dead. Give her pants. Definitely don't touch. Protect. Kool-Aid. Hot mess. Murder. Kirby. Chickens are dragons. Deku. Deku leaf. Precious. Dorkass. Go directly to hell. Pringles. Shy. Fluttershy, Erotic Friend Fiction, Ryoma the Hedgehog, Guess Again, Hectoretta, Mega Legs, Stop Looting Your Child, Uwa, Half Genie Hero, My Uncle Works for Nintendo, Charlie the Unicorn, Soulless, Not Azura, Sonic Speed, Roasty Toasty Princess, Lightning Legs, Where, Really, Loves, Dragons, Yandere Simulator Remastered, Run Faster, Still Don't Touch, Where's Iago? Tobuscus! So, the funniest thing in the entire Pirates of the Caribbean series is definitely that one scene at World's End where they have to parlay, but Davy Jones is a part of it. And rather than have him stand in the shallows or something, they get a big bucket of water and have him stand in it on shore. Who thought of that idea? Who thought? Put Davy Jones in a bucket of water and had the guts to suggest it out loud. Then who went, hey, that sounds like a great idea. At some point, someone told Davy Jones their idea was for him to stand in a bucket of water and he agreed to it. I mean, look at him. Standing majestically in a bucket. Orlando, though, look at him. <clears throat> okay, but notice the trail of buckets behind him, meaning he walked from the ocean through three other buckets of water before he got into the one he's standing in. It's even funnier when you consider how he must have figured all this out in the first place. Some folks are asking, well, if he can avoid the no dry land curse simply by standing in a bucket, doesn't that ruin his whole motivation? But he's not on dry land here. The parlay takes place on a sandbar, which, for the unfamiliar, is a temporary island of sand deposited by breaking waves, unconnected with the shore. That spends most of its time submerged, being exposed only at low tide. What Jones is doing here is rules lawyering his own curse. Can you imagine the trial and error he must have gone through in order to determine that this would actually work? Okay, do islands count as dry land? How about parts of the shore below the high tide mark? Reefs? Shoals? What if I stand at a pool of water on a shoal? Does it have to be a seawater, or will any water do? Does it have to be a natural tide pool, or can it be something artificial, like a bucket? What I'm saying is, is that there must have been a process. Pretty sure that this implies that the reverse, a bucket of sand floating on the water, big bucket with just a bit of sand, would qualify as dry land. That's absurd! So I'm pretty sure that his lawyer pulled a fast one over the curse, Governor! It may be absurd, but the text of the film bears it out. Davy Jones can sense the presence of his heart while it's at sea, but not while it's on land. Indeed, that's why he buried it on land in the first place, to break his connection with it. Yet, placing the heart in a simple jar of dirt conceals it from Jones' awareness just as surely as burial on sand does. Even if the jar is on the boat at the same time, 
Suitably prepared vessels filled with dirt absolutely count as dry land for the purpose of Jones's curse. Um, then the reverse should also be true. If he buried it in a jar of water, no matter how far inland it is, he would be able to sense it. So by this logic, any container of seawater counts as not dry land, ergo the bucket is perfectly viable loophole. Not necessarily. It's traditionally a lot easier to accidentally get whammied by a curse than it is to weasel around it. I figure that's why he's using multiple layers of indirection here. He's forbidden to set foot on dry land, but it's technically not dry land. It's a sandbar, non-permanent landform exposed only at low tide. And he technically didn't set foot on it. He's standing in a bucket of water. It's entirely possible that either one of those things alone wouldn't make the grade. Okay, but this all raises one further very important question. If it's specifically dry land he's forbidden from, what about wetlands? Can Davy Jones fight you in salt marshes? Can he throw down in a peat bog? Swamp battle? This is the quality content I covered Tumblr for. Could he not step on land if his shoes are wet? God, no matter how ridiculous POTC gets, I will love it, especially when it results in conversations like this. KB in a wheelbarrow! What if he flies over dry land, like in a hot air balloon, or in the claws of a giant bird? What if he's carried by two swallows using a strand of creeper? European swallows are African swallows. This whole thread reads like a conversation between these two. In fact, I'm not entirely sure this wasn't their idea in the first place. <gasps> He's making a list. He's checking it twice. He's gonna find out who's on thin freaking ice. Santa Claus is calling you out. I think this would feel like a bunch of little kisses. Or immensely mind-numbing pain as your soul is sucked out through Satan's evil black starfish minions. Aren't you a ray of sunshine today? The cashier at the 7-Eleven just locked us in so she could go in the back for her break. This looks like a group of people about to fall into an alternate reality to have some adventures. Man, I thought Left 4 Dead 3 would never get announced! What language do they speak at the center of the earth? <laughs> Korean? Ah, the center of the Earth is around 5,430 degrees Celsius. Nobody is going to live there, so they don't need a language. Korean? Choose your class. Archer. Paladin. Mage. Pyromancer. Builder. Tank. Mecha. I personally would go with the Pyromancer class. Sometimes I'm like, ancient Greek plays are sold. How am I going to relate to the characters? But then, Dionysus doing everything wrong. Like that? Do you think he knows? Duh! Dr. Fisher! Get off that man's face! You're a scientist, now act like one! Do colors have fandoms? Can I be like a purple is so awesome, I totally ship it with turquoise? I ship turquoise, I even drew some smut for it. Hashtag NSFW! <gasps> Scandalous! Why is there porn on my dash? Just because you're trash doesn't mean you can't do great things. It's called garbage can, not garbage cannot! I have found my senior quote. Here he comes. Here he comes. Here he comes. He has arrived. Oh, oh, look at his little feet. I want to hug him. My history professor asked who we wanted to have as the next pope, and I timed in Oprah. And my professor just stands there laughing for a solid minute before he whispers, Popra. You're getting saved. You're getting saved. Everybody here is getting saved. It got better. If you look under your chairs, you'll find a brand new key to salvation! Do you want the good news first or the bad news? Good news first, please, Doc. We're naming a disease after you! Why is this so funny? He's suffering. How the French baguette did he take the first bite? How does me eating a sandwich have 5,000 notes? How did you eat it? You can control white people by giving them cheese. Cheese is good, though. I got one! Ah... Mary Smith. I remembered this in the shower this morning, and I had to sit down to keep myself from laughing too hard and slipping. Yeah, I would too, actually. Would you like fries with that? Oh, yeah, baby. Would you like to supersize that? We're out of toilet paper! What? She says she's out of toilet paper. What the fruitcake? Can we get some privacy here? No. A clown boy. Half clown, half cowboy. Says, yee-haw! Nothing makes a gamer more nervous than when the game autosaves in a seemingly harmless location. This is an awfully convenient collection of healing items. Why is all this ammo here? Where did all the enemies go? This room has rather a lot of wide open space in it. The music stops suddenly. No, no, there it is. That's an awful lot of bass. And finally, 
the one time I'm going to swear in a video because I have to for this. We fucked up.